right, so now we're on D3 and it says to demonstrate individual responsibility, creativity and effective self-management in the design, development and review of the computer program. In my opinion, this is a very, very fluffy section, but I think what they're trying to do here is to get you to start thinking about maybe project management, which is I believe unit nine and maybe unit six as well, website development, where you might have to make use of these things again as a reviewing, planning, recording and all of that stuff. So that's why they've done it. But again, very fluffy. So C5, this is again copied from the spec. I'm just going to try and give some context here. I'm just going to do this one off the cuff. So it says C5, skills, knowledge and behaviors. So planning and recording, including the setting of relevant targets with time scales, how and when feedback from others will be gathered. All this means you get yourself a Gantt chart, right? What I would do is get myself a Gantt chart. So I'm going to open, I believe it's Excel. I'm going to go to, let's open this wide. I'm going to go to new. I'm going to type in G-A-N-T-T -T in the search bar here. Press search. It's going to come up with Gantt charts. And what a Gantt chart is, it's essentially a timeline of all the actions that must be completed or must be done for you to reach a goal. So let me just double click on the first one I see there. It looks a bit daunting. You don't have to use this template. Use a much simpler one if you want. But all this is, so let's say phase one title. So in phase one, what you could have done is install and test Python. That's perfectly okay as a phase one thing. So task one could be go to Python website and download Python. That's perfectly fine. Task two, after downloading Python, uh, well, you wouldn't call it after downloading Python, just say install Python. Task three, install an IDE. You could use the one that comes with Python or you could use something like Thunny or PyCharm or you could even use the one on the Replit website. That's fine. Uh, task four or wherever I got to is to test Python. And most people when they're testing Python, let me go back to my document. The first program they write when everything is working is print. Hello world. Well, not worlds. But the reason why they do this is just to make sure that everything is working as they should, because if this works, that tells you that Python is installed okay, Python's working okay, the ID is connected to the Python and the Python environment, everything is just all right. That's the first thing most people do. So all that first one is asking about is have you planned and recorded, including setting relevant targets with time scales? All it means is that whether you did a sensible Gantt chart, which you can follow. And again, it does not need to be this complex. I would choose the simplest Gantt chart I can find. Your Gantt chart can also show when you're going to actually get feedback from people. So let's say you did your design and after doing your design, you actually put a section in your Gantt chart that says get feedback. It takes you a day, it takes you two days, three days, however long it took you. Get feedback, you save it and then you work on the feedback which is the next one. It says reviewing and responding to outcomes, including the use of feedback from others. I'm not going to go into every single one, but again, all this means is that after you've gotten your feedback, it might take you a day to review all the feedback and collate all the results. Say, okay, some people like this element. Some people did not like this element. Some people said I should add this. Some people said I should take this away. I believe we did that in the review section of design where we actually gave the designs to people and asked them to actually comment and say what they think. That's what you do here and you put all of this in your Gantt chart, demonstrating own behaviors and their impact on outcomes to include professionalism, etiquette, supportive um, of others type. Okay, they, again, it's, it's so fluffy because again, this is, there's no leadership here. There is no real etiquette you have to follow other than maybe not to copy pe people's work. So you could probably say that in this one, I didn't copy anyone's work. I went to the Python documentation and I used what I needed from there. I didn't go to, I don't know, Stack Overflow or Chat GPT and did everything there. I did everything myself. Accountability. I was behind on a few um, tasks due to me not having enough time to complete my other pieces of coursework. So I take full responsibility for, again, it's such a fluffy section that I didn't, I don't think was necessary. But what I think they should have done personally is put uh, project management at the forefront of this, rather than at the very end, they're asking you to then look at project management stuff. Next, it says evaluating outcomes to help inform high quality justified recommendations and decisions. So again, that section in design where we had reviews, evaluate the outcomes. So again, Again, you can probably tie this point here to the one up here because these more or less do the same thing. So where you review it is where you sit down and actually look at it. 
when you evaluate it, you say, hmm, this is good because, this is good because, and evaluate targets to obtain insights on into own performance, you're going to look at the plan you made, so the Gantt chart that you came up with earlier. And again, a Gantt chart is supposed to, some people have two Gantt charts, some people have one. It's supposed to be an outline of what you intend to do. So people typically tend to do the Gantt chart in the planning phase as well. I probably left that out. You typically tend to do the Gantt chart in the planning phase. And when you do it, you say, okay, week one, I'm going to do all these things. Week two, I'm going to do all these other things. Week three, I'm going to do all these things. So evaluate targets to obtain insight into your own performance. In week one, you might have done everything. That's perfectly fine. Week one was wonderful. It was amazing. It was glorious. In week two, if you were behind on one single thing at one point, say it. And it's perfectly fine that you're behind. It's perfectly fine that you were slower because now you have something to speak about here. So I'd mention that in week two, I didn't do so well because I had other assignments. My time management wasn't that great. Say that that's perfectly okay. And at the end of it, I still got to my project because I, I learned, I went on YouTube, I went on Google, I went on um, stuff to research how to improve time management skills. I followed those steps. I improved my time management skills. So week three, perfectly okay. Week four, perfectly okay. So on and so forth. Media and communication skills, including, and it goes through a whole list of things. For this section, you didn't really send any emails or anything like that. The main thing I would focus on is written documentation, the, the actual report you've done, and maybe just speak about whether you think you did that well enough. So your first designs, if they were absolutely horrible designs in every single way, that's actually perfectly okay. Because this is why I said to you guys, don't do everything perfectly at first, because when you come to do reviews and stuff like this late, later on, if, if you had no input from anyone, then you're going to have nothing to say here. So if your first design was rubbish and trash and your friends laughed at you, say it here. My first design was not the best. It was my very first time using uh, flow diagrams. It was my very first time writing pseudocode. It was my very first time doing sketches for a program. It did not go very well. I got some wonderful feedback from people. I, I, I reviewed the feedback. I then evaluated and, and decided what I was going to do with um, the feedback afterwards. And then you just tie everything back in. Uh, the main thing I would do here is maybe avoidance of jargon. So jargon is simply using terms that is not um, understood by the lay person, by everyday people. And the final one is responding cons constructively to the contribution of others. So when you got feedback from your friends, did you thank them? Did you email them? Did you text them and say, listen, I really appreciate it. Thank you for being honest. This has made me such a much better designer, whatever the case is. That's actually all you need to do for D3. So the hardest thing, well, distinction three, the highest level of grade that you can get on this assignment is, is very fluffy. So hopefully you guys can understand what you need to do. Hopefully this was useful. Please look at the spec or pause the video and look at the bullet points here and speak about as many of them as you can. Good luck. And next we're going to start unit 19, Internet of Things. That's my favorite one, I think. I'm going to be using MicroPython. I'm going to be using the Raspberry Pi Pico W. That's the one with the Wi-Fi. It's only like eight, nine pounds and it comes with Wi-Fi built in. So for people doing IoT, for schools doing IoT, this makes your life so much easier. You only need to attach a few sensors and have it notify you in some way. And the notification can be an email because they didn't specify how the notification should come in. So let's go.